Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's time for an apple brew. What are you thinking about? Why do you ask? To know. You seem sullen. Was it not good? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course it was good. You were in the front row. You should know. So? What's up? You seem lost in your thoughts. I'm sorry, I was thinking about the apiary. Ah, uh, of course. No, no, that's not what I meant. I was just thinking, there has to be others, right? Others like us, who love one another, trying to escape the matchmaker? I'm sure. So? Well, I was wondering, shouldn't we, like, help them? Send them a message? Tell them about Source? And how would we do that? I don't know. I I'm hypothesizing. I'm just saying that would be the quickest way to attract more attention from the apiary. Being a fugitive is one thing, but blute stirring is another. I agree, but if there were more of us, we could be better organized, resist better. Are you okay with just me? Yeah, of course. But why should I, we, have this kind of luck? Just because you had the nest? Just because I had the coordinates to source? Whilst others in the apiary are forcibly matched with people they hate? <sighs> I know the feeling. But there comes a time when you have to think about number one. I'd love for the world to be rid of the matchmaker too. For everyone in the apiary, to be free to live with or love whoever they want. But if I could press a button that would solve all of the apiary's problems in one go, and pressing it would even run the risk of losing what you and I have together, I can guarantee you that not only would I not press it, but I would rip out the wiring. That's a bit selfish. It's completely selfish. And that's also what anyone else would do in my place. No one would press that Bluten button. <sighs> you may be right. I hope I'm right. Because if I'm not, that makes me a Bluten monster. The cutest of monsters, though. <laughs> Ready to go again? Only one way to find out. Only one? You must think I am unimaginative. Okay, it's time to go to sleep now. One second. Hmm. You're still trying to learn stuff about your slugs? I'm not learning. I'm watching. Hmm. Why do you think they're glowing? There are plenty of possible reasons. To see in the dark. To seduce mates. To scare away predators. To attract prey. To communicate. Actually, there are so many good reasons to glow that one could wonder why we are not glowing ourselves. But maybe also there's no reason. Just a happy evolutionary accident. Just for our eyes. Don't you want to know? Hmm. No. At least not tonight. Tonight, I'm enjoying. Hmm. turn is it to clean out the shower? If you have to ask, that means it's yours.
on, Muffin. The cookie gang has struck again. They're threatening to dump a load of yeast in the cakeful water supply. Oh, no. That would mean... Yes. As soon as the citizens taste this water, they will start puffing up. And then they will no longer be able to enter their own homes. We must stop them. This is a mission for... Muffin and Cupcake! Da 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 da! Can I play? Not if you're gonna make a mockery of it, no. No, no, for real. I'm bored and you look like you're having fun, so... Okay. You can be Muffin. Have you ever watched the show? No, but I think I get the gist. Okay, so the Cookie Gang is threatening to contaminate Cakeful's water supply, and we need to stop them. Ooh, Cupcake, what a nice dress you have. Uh, thank you, Muffin. I'm wondering what's underneath it. Uh, what are you doing? Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, Cupcake. There it is. I knew you were just gonna poke fun. No, come on, Kay. Come back. I sincerely wanted to play dolls with you. But Muffin and Cupcake also have emotions, you know. Mm. Oh, Muffin, what is happening to us? We're getting close to the fragment that the Hornets flagged. If we're going to find a communications post anywhere, that's the place. Nice, nice. That's some good growing. a hilarious shape. <laughs> For real. This is a pretty one. Make sure they don't get squished. Anytime. 
This one's so tough. Maybe try something else. I got this. Booyah! Well done. This one left. Ready when you are. All set. Now what? You're safe. Nice. You know what to do. I got this. Bye bye. We make a good team. about it. The apiary went all out with this colonization. Have you ever seen such a large vid chat? Yeah. I used to know someone who had one like this on his roof terrace. Who? Oh, a guy from top. You don't know him. Okay. Do you think this one still works? This should allow us to get in touch with Arena, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Only one way to find out.
Are you seeing anything now? Mm, nothing. It's all black. Mm. And now? Ah, there's a bit of white noise. And now? White noise and some skips. And now? Now it just skips. Oh. Oh, what did you just do? I breathed. Then, hands off everything. I think the image just got clearer. Okay, I think it's all good to go. Are you ready? Never been readier. This has to be the first time I'm actually eager to talk to my mother. Uh. Arena listening? Uh, Mom? You? Is that you? Uh, yeah. Me and Kay. Hello. Where are you two? Are you doing okay? Uh, we're on Source, and... Oh no. Did you really make it to Source? Hmm. You need to leave, right away. The Council has ordered Hornet drones to be sent on your trail. Yeah, we know that. We have, uh, taken care of it. <sighs> you are completely insane. They started it! It's even worse than I thought. What? What? What is worse? Can you just tell me what's happening? <sighs> After you disappeared, the Council issued an advisory notice about you. That was a bad idea. People started to imagine things. That you might have managed to fall off the apiary's radar. That you might be starting a new life together in outer space against the decisions of the matchmaker. And? That's pretty accurate. That's the issue. You two have become a symbol. People are talking about following your lead. The Council cannot allow this to happen. And then there was this signal coming from a supposedly abandoned planet. Listen, you need to come home immediately. I can fix all of this. I can placate Lord Ozius. What? Why Lord Ozius? Because he's furious. What did you expect? I don't understand. Don't tell me that you're not aware. Aware of what? There are a lot of things we weren't aware of. Here's a random one. Source was colonized? <sighs> yes, that is another issue. You weren't supposed to see that. See what, exactly? <sighs> what have you seen? Quit stalling. What happened on Source? Why aren't people aware of what happened in this colony? Why is everything deserted? Okay. Yes, Exanova has contributed to the settlement of a colony on Source. At the time, I was only Vice President. And no one knows because it happened differently. Rather than integrating the planet to the apiary, they decided to make a, a sort of an external colony. What does that mean? It means that they only came in to plunder the flow. It's a little more complex than that. Uh-huh. But yes, broadly speaking, that's it. Exanova had just completed work on a new experimental power plant. Its drill could extract flow directly from the planet's core, then the flow was condensed to make transport easier. Huh. That seems dangerous. As long as the plant is properly maintained, it's safe. And then? The plant was not properly maintained. After about 30 years, the infrastructure started to age. The president of Exanova at the time figured that replacing it would be too costly. Well, you saw the end result. The rust? I'm sorry? The rust. That red stuff. It's everywhere. Oh, that. Sure, kind of. But what I meant was the explosion. The capacitor tank started to develop a crack. The flow became unstable, which triggered a chain reaction into the core, and... Did you? Hold on. You precipitated the explosion of an entire planet just for some flow? It's an unfortunate chain of events, which... And the people. The people who lived and worked on Source. What happened to them? Most of them were evacuated, but some weren't so lucky. I would love to give you more details, but you don't have a lot of time. The Council has decided to make an example of you. If they catch you here, there's nothing I can do for you. But if you come back now, 
I could probably smooth things over. We'll match you up with your respective mates. We'll get you to read a disclaimer letter. We'll make something up. Everything will be back to normal. What if we don't want it to be back to normal? I understand your frustration. I remember my younger years, but you must also think about others in the long run. The matchmaker may not be the best system, but it's the least bad that we've found. Do you want to go back to the days of the Mark? Recreate the inequalities that the Elders have worked so hard to erase. You really think you're much happier now? That's great. But your selfishness has already left two other people in the dust. So now, can you imagine if everyone did what you did? Everyone would be happier. Of course not. Sure, everyone loves to complain about the matchmaker every now and then. But everyone is a lot more scared of what the alternative might be. The matchmaker is a guarantee. It ensures what we are building together will not crumble beneath our feet. The promise of a future. Durable, everlasting. Can you say that you'll hold that promise? Why do you care? We love each other. But you will also love your mates. And they will love you back. Love does not have to be a large fire which consumes everything. You have to build it. You have to keep it alive. Just like the chimney fires in fairy tales which keep us warm in the winter. Isn't that kind of love at least as beautiful as yours? Huh. You. Have you ever in your life had to question the love that your mother and I had for each other? Was it any less than the one that you share? No, but... Love is greater and more complex than you can imagine. Love always finds a way. You will always find a way as well. We'll have to act fast to clean up your mess. Our mess. What mess? Is love a mess? Living together, is that a mess? You know very well that's not what I meant, Kay. No, I do not. Come on, you. Let's go. No, wait, you can't! I'm sorry I insisted on contacting her. I didn't think that... I know. I'm Kay. <sighs> do you mind if we go back to the nest? I'm not really feeling up to, um... Up to anything, actually. You know what? You're right. Let's go home. Are you okay? You haven't said a word the whole trip back. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. It's just a lot to take in. I can't believe my mom hid all this from me. This whole time. Get in here. At least now we know that's what we wanted, isn't it? Yeah. There's still one thing I don't really understand. She mentioned Lord Ozius at one point. I don't understand what that Boron has to do with all this. He's too young to have been involved in the whole secret colony thing. I mean, sure, he's pretty tight with the council. But I still don't get how this is any of his business. I... Uh... I... Uh, I think I know. Oh yeah? Do you promise you won't get mad? What? Why would I get mad? It's about the guy I was matched with. Who cares about that guy, though? Right. Uh, uh, I mean... Hold on. Are you telling me that Ozius is your partner? Um... Ozius? The Ozius. Blued hole in chief. The very one. And you are telling me now? You promised you wouldn't get mad. I'm not getting mad. But you, still, this is one of the most influential and demented people in the apiary. You never considered that I might find this tidbit to be important? I was scared you would change your mind if I told you. I might have changed my mind, yes. Fleeing the Apiary is one thing. But Lord Ozius is a maniac. You humiliated him by refusing the match. He'll never give up on us. I humiliated him? We left 
together in case you missed it. It was your idea. Because I'm the one who is being matched up with a psychopath, yes? Please explain how that's my fault. All I'm saying is that you could have told me. It's also a matter of establishing trust, you. You know, just five minutes ago, you were complaining about your mom hiding stuff from you. But you're doing the exact same to me. Obviously, you got that from her. Yeah, well I have no idea who you're taking after, but I understand why they no longer wanted you. Wow. Seriously? Couldn't pick a better angle? Oh, that's not what I meant. Oh yeah? What did you mean then? I don't know. You're raising your voice. I'll raise mine. It just came out. Well, let me tell you that I'm quite shocked by what just came out. I thought I knew you better than this. Ah, uh, go bloot yourself, you and your high horse. You should go back to the apiary if you're unhappy. I may just do that. Well, you have to figure out how to get there on your own, though. Don't count on me to be your chauffeur. Oh, no problem. I wasn't about to ask you for anything. Great. Perfect. You? You? Where are you hiding? You? <sighs> okay, well, great. All right then, I don't care. I have the nest to myself. Maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> 